Hiya, Vivian Rainbow Fox here. Welcome to today's video. I hope you enjoy. Hello fellow fuzzballs. So, I'm just going to make a random video because I want to. Um, yeah, I've just kind of had a few ciders. Yeah, so I've been struggling to think of content ideas. I've come up with a few here and there. But basically, I've had a cider or two and I've come up with three ideas straight off the bat, just out of nowhere. Um, tomorrow is going to be a little fur meat thing going on, so that's going to be cool, the Christmas lights. So I'll try to infuse Zack and Pegasus. Yeah, that's it, Zack and Pegasus. Max, Pegasus and Zack the cat. And see what they think of their paws and tails and how they, like, plan to progress in this fandom so yeah i don't suggest drinking if you're underage but if you are struggling it has helped me slightly which has made me chaotic minded so yeah my partner's gone out for a few drinks i'm at home with the dog it's midnight but i'm up anyway but yeah i, I just thought i'd make a little video because i'm <laughs> what do you look like She's a very, very, oh hello, very strange dog. Aren't you? Yes you are. You're a pudding. What? No, 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 you can't steal my paws. Please, put that back. Go away. Just steal it. Oh, so, yeah, because I'm just sat here rambling now, I thought I'd turn on the computer and show you my editing process and how I put clips and videos together and what it's all about. How that goes so first off I have to film it on the tablet then I have to plug the tablet into the computer and upload the files then I can edit the files then I can finalize the the video however for some reason that finalized video has stopped working with the upload process so now I have to put it in different editing software and finalize it again which somehow reconfigures it and makes it work, so I have to do that. Then I have to take a screenshot of what I want to be the thumbnail on the computer, because when I try to do it on the tablet, the button for the thumbnail brings up the pause menu and everything, it goes all awry. So I have to take the screenshot on the computer, then transfer that to the tablet, which has the editing software for that, make the thumbnail, then re-upload that to the computer, then I can finally put it on the video on YouTube itself. So it's a lot of faffing, it's a lot of back and forth, and it's going to cost me a lot of money to get the editing software, the kind of beefed up version of it, if you will. Um, but I'm willing to do that, I'm happy to do that. So I'll get to the editing bit now. So I've had a bit of trouble getting this set up to how I can film it. Um, this background, the copyright on it says Katty Hofgard 2010, so if you want to check out that art, it's K-A-T-I-E space H-O-F-G-A-R-D, because I don't have permission to use this, but they've got their copyright watermark on there, so I suppose that makes it okay, sort of. Um, so yeah. Now I'm just going to grab a random file, let's do the latest one I did, um, labelled uh, tail design plus doggo drying. So I'm just going to move that file out to my thing there for convenience. Now this is the finished product here, and this is the finished product before I manage to render it, so I'm going to take the original clips and that's the original screenshot and just throw these out onto my thingy there, my um, desktop there to play with. Now I use a Cyberlink Power Director 17 down here. This is the program I'm going to spend money on to get my 12 month subscription because at the moment look I have 9 days left so I can still launch the free version for now and get to work with that and show you some of the features that are involved with it. The Hello Mitzi. Yes, hello. So, 
first thing I need to do is to upload those files I want. So go up to this little do for here, import media files, and go to my desktop, which is where I've got them all, and just like select the ones I want. That's a screenshot, I don't need that one. Uh, I don't think I need that one, I might do. So I'll just upload those ones and then go back for the others. So I don't have a keyboard right now because I'm kind of crouching on the ground because I've had to use my chair to set up the camera. So this is going to be a bit tedious. Um, which one do I miss? This one? No. Oh, that's, a, that's the thumbnail itself. I'll show you how I made that later. Um, the one other thing I need for this is my intros and I keep them in this folder here. So I've got my furry trash in through my Foxtober ones, but right now I want the random video intro. What I should really do is make a um, Fursuit Friday video. So look, I've got my first clip here. I want to be the intro, so you simply drag this and drop it in this top bar all the way over to the start. Hiya, Vivian Rainbow Fox here. Welcome to today's video, I hope you enjoy. So there we go, I've got my intro, I'm happy with that. So now I want to find the next clip I want to use. And I can preview the clips like this. So it's Friday game. So yep, that's the one I want, so I go and drag that down. And now that's a very long clip, so if I press this magic little button here, it allows me to view the whole slide and if I use this magnifier here I can make it bigger or smaller so I can fit more in and see more of it. Um, so yeah there's two clips. Now say I want to put my outro on the end, there we go. And that's a very simple video sorted out there then I can simply produce that with this button here takes a few moments and I just hit start but for now I want to do a bit more to it I want to mess with it a bit so now I'm happy with that but say I wanted to overlay a video so I would simply drag it down to this second level here so I want it there then I can bring it down to a good size put it up in a window and then I can use oh, go away you then I can adjust the length of that, uh, kind of lengthen it, shorten it. Now this tool here is really helpful as well. Say I don't want these three or four seconds here, I can hit that one to cut it there, then hit it to cut it there. Now if you watch, this is just going to play normally. And this is the bit that we're going to take out. So now if I just stop that, select that piece, go to delete it here, uh, remove and fill the gap, that means it just moves it up again. Now if I play it again at that stage, then it just skips to the next part and you can basically use that to take out dead air where you're not saying or doing anything. Um, and then this is my little overlay bit. So it just pops up there. Now you do need to make sure you're putting that in the right place and you c there might be a way to pause one and have the other playing. I'm not sure how to do that yet. Um, another cool feature, if I select a piece I want to work with, go in Tools, Power Tools and Video Speed, then hit Speed Adjustment if it doesn't automatically come to this. Now 1000 is standard speed, so if I go up to 8000, I found that's fast but it doesn't start to jump, because if I go way up to like 12000 it starts to jump. So there you go, that's how you can mess with that, and if you take it down to less than a thousand, 
then you get slow mo. <laughs> Oh my lord, that sounds very, very strange. Okay, yeah, that's, that's enough of that. But yeah, basically, um, no, no, I don't want to do that. I just want to get back out of this window. Oh, cancel that. Oh, well, just go no then, right, whatever. You mean no, I'm playing. Um, to put text over, you simply come up here to this little feature here now you can do direct microphone recording so if you were watching a clip you could put that in and it would record you as you're talking whilst the thing plays um, but if you want to put text over you go for this one select one that you want and drag it into this top part where you've had the previous one and then you have whatever you want, you can adjust it, rotate it, change the font, all that sort of stuff. All that wonderful stuff. So there we go, and then you can have your a title or whatever, or um, if you drop something, you can put oops on there or whatever. So these are basically some of the small features I've learnt to work with and have been playing with. Um, there's probably a lot more I can do with this program. You can put on effects, which can be quite cool. I've not messed with them. Let's just have a go now for the sake of it. See what it looks like. Oh my life. Okay, so that's like you could kind of blur stuff maybe. Um, I don't know if you can adjust it. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Can't seem to make that bigger or smaller, but it seems to be interesting enough. Um, let's try another one. Let's just throw another one over here and see what that one does. Okay, that's just blurred as well. Um, let's find a really random one. What's this one do? So, oh, oh my god, that's that's too weird. That's very strange. So yeah, basically there's some features. So if you get a piece of software like this, I would suggest you spend a few hours messing with it like I'm doing here to find out what features there are, watch a few tutorial videos and basically just have fun kind of working with it. Um, here is the audio so if you've got a lot of space that's empty like this bit here then maybe that's a bit you need to review and decide whether you want to cut that bit out or not because there might not be much being said there. Whereas these peaks are where I'm talking quite loudly and maybe my volume's a bit too much, but hopefully a new microphone um, will help with that. Oh, I don't know what I've done now. I'm just poking buttons and seeing what happens. So basically this is my editing software. Now, once I've got it so I'm happy with it, I have to come into my files, documents, uh, Cyberlink, Power Director, then 17, and it will be in here as produced. Then what I have to do is take that, drag it onto my home screen, and open this Movie Maker. Um, Movie Maker 10, tell your story. I think this is just a free to use standard thing, and I would just have to take New Project. Uh, throw in the one I wanted to put onto YouTube, to whatever it was. And then I would just have to save video. And this basically just converts it to a format that YouTube is happy with. Now I don't know why I have to go through this step. But yeah, basically I keep this one and this will be my backup until December when I can afford to get this one on a full version. Because I only have a free trial now, so I'll be using... Oh, pardon. I'll be using this one until I get that one sorted out. So I'm now just going to throw these back into um, into there. Yeah, that's where they came from. Throw that one back in there. Now, I'm not going to go through how to make the thumbnail, because basically all I do is uh, get a screenshot of what I want it to be and then you can use Microsoft Paint or something like that and just I just overlay a bit of text now you can go further than that you can put on some fancy 
designs and stuff. Um, what I'm also going to try to do in the future, near future maybe, is make a different intro which is more just still images, maybe a bit of text and stuff, maybe a little bit of fan art, things like that. Um, because I like to do my own intros, I like to say hello at the beginning of my filming and stuff, and with my intros I have to go, so this video, and not, hi, it's Vivian Rainbow Fox. So uh, I'm going to try to make some different intros, outros as well, because I like to say goodbye on my videos, filming as well, it makes it more personal. So, yeah, there's my little editing process, I hope that's helpful. Um, yeah, the way I learned to do this is simply through YouTube videos, they're fantastic, they, you can learn so much from them. So I'll sign off now because it's getting a bit dragging on. Caddy bye for now. Thanks for watching today's video, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Caddy bye for now.